Hey YT fam, it's your girl Nettie B. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Please go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Before I go to bed, I'm just trying to have some me time because I am a full-time mother of two young girls, five and 11 months, almost one. I work full-time in the funeral industry, so I do work in a funeral home. And on top of that, I am a full-time partner, significant other, girlfriend, however you want to label it <laughs> and then I have to take care of myself so it's a lot any woman out there period kids no kids if you work and live in life and especially if you have a partner in life that you guys live with it's a lot and you always have to take time to wind down and have some me time so this is what I'm doing right now before I go to bed. I have my um, chamomile tea that I am drinking. And then I am going to literally put on some press on nails because y'all, I want to be put together as much as possible. And sometimes I don't feel girly enough if I don't have nails on. Not all the time because of what I do, I can't always have the nails I want because I want long nails if I can do it every day, all day, but that's not realistic with my industry being a um, funeral director slash embalmer apprentice. I work hands on with the deceased, so I can't have long nails. I'm trying to open this. And then my mom, I gotta do gross hair, you know, part time hairstylist. So long nails just not really fit in my life. That's okay. So, I get press on. When it's time to take them off, I can pop them off. But you guys, sometimes they come off way too quick. Sometimes they come off way too quick. I'm sorry if that was noisy while I was talking. So, I am going to <laughs> experiment with Gorilla Glue. Yeah. Am I a little nervous? I am. Completely honest. Because of when you think of Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Gel, whatever, Gorilla, and the recent tabloids and what has happened recently this year with Gorilla Glue, it can make you a little skeptical about their products or, you know, making sure you're using it in the right context. So anyways, I have um, I went to the nail shop the other day and got my acrylics taken off. Got my nails manicured and together. Buffed them earlier today. So now I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna use their Kiss Pink Gel that they normally provide you with. I am going to use the Gorilla Glue. So let's hope this goes well. But I need something that's going to last a little bit longer than a day or two. Yeah, I don't even know how this works. Let's hope this works well for you, girl. I'm going to do my left hand first because I'm right-handed. So, ooh, crap. It just automatically already got on my hand. I'm already starting off bad, y'all. Get it together. And I'm looking for something to clean my hand up with. This is my makeup desk, and I don't know where my hand is. Hold on, y'all. Go get the cloth my hand and get a paper towel and do this the correct way and set my little station up. So I have fitted all my fingers for 
the nails and I have them laid out here on the paper towel and now I'm really excited but I'm still hoping that this glue goes well for me so I'm going like I was saying I'm going to go ahead and do my left hand first because I'm right handed and I want to get the hard hand over with so let's put on these first two nails and see how it goes so I'm gonna double glue up I know y'all probably being like why is she doing double glue but I just want it to be sturdy y'all this it and this all and I'm gonna hold it for a second but anyways yeah y'all so this is just um a long time that I need that I like to have sometimes I um take bubble baths which is like really my favorite but in reality I can't always take them because I'm just by the time I get in the shower it's probably late and I'm tired so I just get in the shower put my pajamas on get in bed watch some tv and go to sleep and you know boom but one thing I do do like I said is take bubble baths nail down to relax myself or sometimes I will um come in here and sit at my desk put me on some really relaxing music get my spa tub this one got a bubble on it get my spa tub my pedicure spa tub and soak my feet in like some lavender oil epsom salt and just light some candles have my diffuser going I know you're probably saying why you got both but I just had a whole vibe or if I have music on my phone I'll go ahead and put a fireplace view from YouTube on my television I don't have a fireplace in real life I love a, fire, a fireplace like my first apartment had a fireplace y'all and I was so in love like I wish this place had a fireplace I wish the house that I'm getting ready to move into had a fireplace but it doesn't but don't worry my forever home will have a fireplace so I'm about to drop this so that's what I'm doing y'all let's see what else can I chit chat about while I'm putting on these nails so Let's just talk about everything I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Being a full-time mom. So as I said, I am a full-time mom of two girls, five and 11 months. I won't say it's hard because it's not hard. You just have to know what you're doing. Be patient and, you know, learn as you go. So... My first priority and my last priority are my girls every day. So I wake up and of course I go wake up my um my five year old because she's the one who has to go to school first. So as soon as I wake up I go love on her and try to get her up. Some days it goes really well <laughs> and some days it is hard because she so I probably stayed up all night, got up while we were asleep, and did who knows what. And now she's tired. So I start my day off by getting her up, having her go use the restroom, wash her hands, brush her teeth. And then we go ahead and get her dressed. Some days she'll let me pick out her outfit or she'll like what I picked out. Won't say let because I'm a parent. She'll like what I pick out. Some days she'll tell me she doesn't like what I picked out for her. So she'll want to choose her own outfit. Sometimes it matches. Sometimes it doesn't. But we just take it day by day. So once that is done, um, I make her hot chocolate and have her get her book bag and everything ready. And she relaxes and watches a little... Um, television while I go ahead and get myself ready and then once I get myself ready if my infant has not already woken up I go put her in the bed with her dad and I get her clothes ready for her so when he wake they wake up 
all he has to do is dress her, make her bottles for the day, and go by his way. So then, you know, the day goes by. You go to work. <laughs> Excited, y'all. It's cute. Day goes by, you go to work, get off work, and now it's time for me to go ahead. I'm going to start my pinky this time. Now it's time for me to go ahead and get them. So I get them, come home, 9 to 9 out of 10. The first, I'm going to say 8 to 9 out of 10. The first thing I'm doing is um, starting dinner. I'm starting dinner and having um, my um, five-year-old do one or two things. We're going to go ahead and see if she has homework and get started on that. Or I'm going to go ahead and have... Um, run her bath water and have her go ahead and get in the tub so we can go ahead and get that out the way because y'all the later it gets the less i feel like doing <laughs> let's just be real so one of the two things we do and then once that's done i bathe my other baby girl too and feed them get homework done we all relax as a family and i'm just saying it sounds so mediocre and so like nothing, but by then I'm tired. So all I'm doing is taking a shower, getting in bed, and resting. But nowadays the game is switching up because I have a big exam coming up that I need to study for. So most likely I'll be studying once I put them to bed before I go to bed. Now, so that's that mom life and you know, play dates, keeping them entertained, doing stuff with them on the weekends. Um, you know, just mom life. Doing games with them, taking them places, talking with them when things go on. School life, television, YouTube, when they're on YouTube and you have to correct some things they're listening to. It can just be a lot sometimes, so... You know, making sure they're happy is a big priority. Like, I'm really in touch with how my five-year-old feels. Like, it matters to me. So people say, kids shouldn't have that much an opinion. Um, yes and no. They have an opinion. I feel like they need to be heard. So, I try to make sure that my five-year-old knows that mommy hears her when she's speaking and trying to get her point across. So... I'm that mom. And then when it comes to work, y'all, I work in the death industry. I am a funeral director slash a mama apprentice, which means I work under the licensed funeral director and I work under the licensed embalmer. Majority of my day takes place in the preparation room under the licensed embalmer. So, just a rough overview of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis without going into too much details. Um, when someone's family member dies, I am more than likely the person at my firm who will pick them up, especially during the day while I'm at work. And then once I get back, I go ahead and sign them in and then we wait for further notice of their preparations. And if they're getting embalmed, we go ahead and bring them from the holding freezer into the preparation room. And if they get embalmed, I either do it by myself or I assist the embalmer if she wants help. And then after that happens, they get dressed, they get cosmetized, they get hairstyling. And then finally they get put in their casket. And with my firm, we do this for two different firms. So mine and another one. So if they're if they belong to the funeral home I currently work at, like physically work at, then they go into the viewing room. But if they belong to the other funeral home that we do preparations for, I go ahead and load them into the vehicle and transport them over to their dedicated funeral home. Blase blase. And then sometimes for the actual funeral service, I will go ahead and be in attendance. So I'll work it and whatnot. Work the visitation. They have a visitation the day before the service. Work on the actual funeral, the day of the funeral. Things of that sort. 
I'm kind of like with the apprentice. Anybody who knows an apprenticeship, you kind of, you know, you're learning things and you do almost everything so you can get to know, you know, the industry, get to know your job, what you need or require to do. So I do almost everything. When we have events, I'm there at events helping out. I help plan sometimes if they ask for suggestions and things of that sort. Like that's everything in a nutshell without going into detail because it can be extremely detailed. So that's what I do for work. And then, you know, I have a boyfriend. So, you know, us spending time together and trying to stay connected and, you know, taking care of our girls and, you know, elevating in life and trying to keep the romance going. <laughs> Ooh, y'all know that'd be a struggle sometimes when you get used to each other and all that. But it's good. And just trying to keep elevated and moving forward in life. And then, you know, you have your girlfriends, your girls, you gotta stay connected with your girls. You gotta um, make time to hang out with your girls. So, like, you know, life it's just life. And then you guys, I moved out of state from where I'm originally from. Hmm. So I spent a lot of time on my phone, video chatting, FaceTiming my family back home. And then I try to go see them at least once or twice a year. So hopefully with me buying this new house, they'll be ready to come and visit me. Because I've been here almost two years and they haven't come. But then again, um, COVID right after I moved here. So, totally understandable. And everybody is almost, let me see my family. Everybody's vaccinated. So, they might start, you know, making it here. Let me put some lotion on my hands real quick. So, y'all gonna be talking about, girl, your hands is ashy. So. That's my little spill of my life in a real nutshell because it's so much more detailed, so much more animated at times. And then this is a new passion of mine doing YouTube. So hopefully I stay consistent. Hopefully I get better with putting content out there and seeing what you all like and getting to know y'all and just have fun with it. But if you watched my last video, I am currently in the middle of purchasing a home. So go watch that video. Give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Give me comments. And if you have purchased a new home recently, please let me know your experience. And yeah, that pretty much sums up, wraps up my little girl talking and press on nails because my press on nails are done. As y'all see, I'm. You know, when you get nails, you be feeling yourself. So you talk with your hands, like all that good stuff. So here are the nails. I like them. Blue is my favorite color, royal blue. I'm from LA, and if you're from LA, you know blue is our color. Real blue. So, yeah. But anyways, thank you guys if you have made it this far in my video. I appreciate you all for hanging out with me while I put on my nails and just listen to me talk. And, you know, let out and relax myself before I go ahead and call it a night. If you guys have any suggestions as far as content, please comment it below and let me know. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel because as I said, I am buying a house. I will be doing a home buying series and I do plan on to do, plan on doing a little bit of makeup. I'm not a professional, but a little bit of makeup tutorials on just how I do my own makeup. Um, I have a haul that I want to do for Sheen coming up. And, you know, just researching and seeing and finding my niche on what I like and what I want to do. And keeping it cute and keeping it classy. And, you know, that's me. They call me Nettie B. 
y'all got that name way back in elementary like my name is Antoinette like in real life so but everybody calls me Nettie but I originally started off as Nettie B but as I glowed up we just kept that Nettie so yeah but anyways I'm gonna stop rambling on thank you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in my next video and do not forget to come back and see a girl bye yt fam keep it cute and keep it classy